Hey everybody, I'm Megan, and I have another thrift haul for you today. Um, I'm doing some more home goods stuff, some things that I have picked up lately or over the last month or so on some thrifting trips. Um, and uh, I know it's been a while, but um, I am kind of glad to be back and showing you some stuff that I've found recently. So I'll quickly show you what I'm wearing, this Greek fisherman's hat I got for 50 cents at the Goodwill outlet. Um, it's the hat that I've been wearing constantly. This big like sequined thing. I just love the sleeves on it. Um, I got it. I think it also came from the Goodwill outlet and was 50 cents. Um, I'm just kind of wearing it open in the back so it kind of like falls a little bit or whatever. Um, but it's been a piece that I've pulled out quite a bit in the last year or so. I'm actually thinking about wearing it tonight um, when I go out later. So I just like threw it on because I like it. So um, I'm just going to start showing you some things and hopefully this one won't be too long. The first thing that I'm going to show you is this wall hanging. Um, let's see if I can untie it while I'm like talking to you. So I got this on Facebook from a girl that was selling it and she was going to put it in a yard sale and I saw it and was like, please let me have it first. Um, I paid $15 for it, which is way more than I would normally pay, but this is just so, just like perfectly my style and it's still going on Urban Outfitters website for, um, for $50. So I feel pretty excited about it. Um, there's just like metal hangy things and a moon, which I love moon stuff. So it just seemed perfect. The next thing I'm going to show you is a pair of boots that came from Plato's Closet. Um, I actually just got these the day before yesterday. I wore them out last night to um, a happy hour show at the five spot and then to a couple different places with some of my friends but they are these flame boots uh, my friend keeps calling them my kids boots which is fine with me um, they're just from forever 21 which I know is crazy because everybody thinks I only wear Jeffrey Campbell's which is true most of the time um, but I saw these and really loved them and just thought they were super cool and unique. And I've been on a shoe kick lately. Um, they were $14, but they're still at Forever 21 right now for $40. So I felt good about paying that. So I actually saw them and didn't buy them and then went back later in the day because I had to have them. And actually, I really love these on even more than I do just like looking at them. Like they just, they just look really good with, with clothes. I wore them with a... Uh, a black velvet maxi skirt and it was they were just amazing so there's those um this is just a little 70s plastic tote that I got at the Goodwill outlet I paid like 50 cents for it and I've been using it for all kinds of things like put groceries and stuff in here and um yeah all kinds of stuff so it's just been a really useful, like, little 70s bag. This is a little um, candle holder that I've had for quite a while. Maybe not that long, but I just haven't showed it off yet. I got it for uh, $2 at Goodwill, and I thought it was really cute. I have cats, so I can't have real candles, which is why I have this fake one in here. Um, but it still does the trick. Okay. You know, obviously, I love sequins. This is a sequin jacket. Uh, if I can do it. And I guess it's really more beaded than sequin, but I just thought it was beautiful. I love the blue and the silver. I'm trying to wear more blue because I have blue eyes and I never wear blue. Um but it's just, I'm trying to do it more. Um, and then it still has a tag on it. It's never been worn. I don't know if you can see that, but I mean, this was like obviously at least the 80s and it was $140 then. So imagine how much that like, it would have been new now, you know, probably three or 400 or something. Um, it's beautiful. 
There's a couple little jewelry items. Um, this is just a pair of like 70s earrings. They're actually clip on, but I just love them. They have that beautiful blue. Like again, I said, I'm trying to go with more blue. And uh, I got them for a dollar at Goodwill. And this is just a big, chunky moonstone ring. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of pearly. Um, I got it at Play-Doh's for $2. That's probably just Forever 21 or something, but I really like it. and actually reminded me of a Free People one that I keep looking at on Poshmark. Um, but this one I actually like better, so... Um, and then one more jewelry thing. This is actually um, a necklace. Once again, it came from Play-Doh's. I've been going there more lately, um, which is why some of my things are costing a little bit more than normally what I show you. But it's just this like stone dipped, dipped stone necklace. Um, and I just saw it and I thought it was beautiful. It was $10, which is way outside of what I ever pay. Um, so I didn't buy it, but I kept thinking about it. So I went back to the store a few days later, and they I figured they had sold it because it wasn't there, and I was so bummed out. And then maybe a week or so later, I saw they posted the necklace on their Instagram, like styled with an outfit. And I called them and asked them to please hold it for me because I, like, I just had to have it. And then I went back and paid $10 for a necklace, which I never, ever do. But I did now. Um, this is just a little wooden box thing. I really love it. Um, I bought it the same day. I bought that red candle holder at Goodwill. Uh, sorry, it's dusty. But I just love these little, like, etched stars. I just thought it was so, so cute. I have stuff in there. Just a little catch-all on my coffee table. But I think this one was two. No, this one was four dollars. But it's beautiful. I'm trying to, like, not drop things and break them. Um, this came from the Goodwill outlet and I was excited about it because I always see these in the dollar section at Target where things everything is actually three or five dollars, which is, you know, that's false advertising and it always upsets me because I never find anything I want for a dollar. Um, but I always want these little flower growing kits and I never buy them. But I found one in the Goodwill outlet and it still has all the parts. And it's for sunflowers, um, so I paid like 50 cents for it, and I'm pretty excited to do that because I love sunflowers. Um, this is just a little bottle I got for 50 cents. It doesn't have a top, but I thought for 50 cents it was just cute, and I could just sit it in my window, and it'd just be pretty. So, that. Um, this is a bowl that I got at Goodwill. I don't know how well it's going to show up on screen, but it's very lightly speckled, kind of like Easter egg look, and then speckled inside as well. Um, but it's uh, Urban Outfitters Home, and I looked it up, and these were like, I think they were 5 or $6 each, which isn't bad new, but I got it for $1. Um, and it's just a really good size bowl, and I'm always looking for bowls because I just break them all the time not you know I don't know it's sad I had like a whole set of bowls that I really really loved I think there were like six or seven of them I bought them at a yard sale and I have like two left there they were just really fragile and I guess I'm clumsy I don't know um okay this is just a little a jar that has dried flowers inside the glass. I just thought it was really, really pretty. It actually, when I looked at the sticker, it's just from Bath and Body Works. Like it had bath salts in it at some point. But um, I was going to put it in my kitchen and I just thought it was really cute. I don't know what I'm going to put in there, but something. It was $2. Yeah, $2 at Goodwill. Okay, this is a t-shirt that came from Play-Doh's. Hard to explain why I love this, but I just love it. It's a Los Angeles t-shirt, and I do kind of have a thing about LA. And I just really love the, like, design of it. And then in the middle, it just has all these different addresses of places in LA. Like, there's Venice Beach and um, just, like, a whole, a whole list of 
addresses, and I kind of looked them up, and a lot of them were just famous landmarks, um, so I guess that's kind of what they were doing there, but I just really liked it. It's more purple in person, and it just has kind of like a cool, gothy feel, so I liked that. Um, this is a little corner shelf, which came from the Goodwill outlet. It's green right now, but I may paint it. Um, I think it's going to go in my bedroom, just like kind of next to my bed. And I just felt like it would be a good place to put like candle and then maybe like, you know, if you're like laying in bed at night and you had like a cup of tea or something, because I never have anywhere to set things. Um, so I thought that would be like a good little addition to the corner. Actually, now that I'm seeing it on screen, I don't mind the green at all. So we'll see. I kind of, kind of might want it a little lighter, but. For 50 cents, you know, I thought it was a good find. This is another thing that came from Play-Dohs. Um, I usually don't ever buy bags anywhere but the Goodwill outlet because I can get them so cheap there. But I saw this one and I really liked it, so I just kind of went for it. It was $5. I was actually walking out and leaving, and then I saw this and was like, oh, I think I'm going to have to have that. But it just has such a cool feel. It's like slouchy. It's faux leather, but it doesn't really feel or look super fake. It's just really, really pretty. And like you just see it and it kind of makes a statement. So I like it. I've been carrying it pretty much every day. It's been my go-to bag. So um, yeah, I thought it was a good find. Five dollars for anybody else that doesn't shop at the Goodwill outlet. Five dollars is a steal for this bag. So I couldn't believe that they had it marked that low like running out of space to put things around my feet. Just a few more things. This french fry pillow that I could not pass up. I don't need a french fry pillow, but um, I wanted it. It was 50 cents. And I mean, you know, this was what was happening on the runway a few years ago and a couple years ago. So it's kind of a knockoff of that, I suppose. But uh Got, like cat hair on it but I just I don't know I just liked it thought maybe if I like had a french fry pillow to look at all the time I wouldn't feel the need to buy french fries but I don't think it's going to work that way it's probably going to make me want them more um, this is another pillow that came from the Goodwill outlet I'm obsessed with like fuzzy shaggy things I have a pink fuzzy pillow and a like turquoise one this gray one was at the Goodwill outlet for 50 cents and it's not quite as high quality as the others, but it's just soft and like cuddly and I like it. What can I say? I like it. So if I see something for 50 cents that I like, I just have to buy it. A um, couple more things. This also came from the Google outlet. I got this the day I took my friend Mary there for the first time, and I was so happy that she liked it and found some good things, and I found this blanket, which is like hand crocheted, and I just love the colors. It's not um, coming off as bright on the screen as it does in person, but it just the pinks and stuff really stand out, and I love the fringe. Um, it's not huge, but I just always set it on top of my chest here. And my cat, Gypsy, sleeps on this blanket. It's like her spot. She sleeps on it pretty much every day. Um, so, 50 cents for it. Two more things. Um, the first one is this green 70s avocado. Um, sorry, see what my cat's doing. 70s avocado pan. Um, I... I'm trying to get like all these colorful 70s pans for my kitchen. So far I have this one, a blue one, and then a red one. Um, and that's kind of my goal is to get all of my kitchenware to be from the 70s eventually. So when I see one of these, I have to pick it up. It was $3, but it's not in the best, best shape, but it's not in terrible shape. So I feel pretty good about it. I haven't used it yet, but I washed it so I can use it. Um, and I don't feel weird about buying stuff like that from Goodwill because it's just like you 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 know you eat from things that were like cooked in in restaurants so I don't see what the big deal is you just wash it and um you know and it's fine and then okay this is the last thing um 
This is a pillow which was at the regular Goodwill. I think I paid two dollars or three dollars for this one. Got this one day when I was there with my friend Indy and she was like that is so you you have to have it. I just love this like 70s graphic. Um, it's not that old but it actually looks like a pillow that would have come from like with a chair or a couch or something. But I didn't see anything there furniture wise that like it went with. But um, I just really liked it. I've been having it sitting in my swivel chair. And uh, yeah, it's just that 70s feel that I love so much. So sorry this video went really, really long. I didn't mean for it to be 15 minutes, but it uh, looks like we did that. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all my thrifted finds. Um, please, if you do thrift videos, link me to them so that I can follow you. Um, let me know what kind of stuff you like seeing. If you want to see more clothes, more home goods, more shoes, um, books, records, I can do any of that because I'm a, I'll call myself a collector. I don't know. I just like to, to shop. So uh, I'm always doing Goodwills and stuff like that. And um, trying to pick up things for my house and to wear just like fun stuff to dress up in. So let me know what you like to see and I will try to do more of that. I am going to do a shoe video for you very, very soon to show off on my Jeffrey Campbell's. Um, but in the meantime, give me a thumbs up, like my Facebook page. Um, you can see the blog link below. Um, be sure to follow, leave me comments and I will see you soon.